I don't know how many people use BCF in Blender, probably not that many. Um, and the reason is because previously in Blender BIM, uh, BCF was basically a read only system. So you look at all your issues, but that was it. You just look at them, which is not very exciting. So uh, Blender BIM has now got a brand new BCF system. And um, now it, well, basically you can do everything that you would expect. There's nothing much more to say other than that. You can write comments, edit comments, edit labels and assign related topics and all that. You'll find it here in the um, BCF project um, panel and you'll, you'll just load in your project or you can create a, a brand new project. So there, there's uh, no real interesting, I mean, this is just the things that you would expect from your issue management software. You would say, okay, uh, you know, fix, fix wall or something like that. But how, how then, how, how would you work together with other people? So this is just, you need to share the file, right? You save it in the file and you need to share the file. Is there any way you can, um, you can make it uh, interactive, the cooperation between other, the, between more people on the same project? So currently we're implementing BCF XML, which means that you're absolutely right. You need to save the uh, BCF file and, and share that with different people. But um, part of the reason of rebuilding uh, this BCF system is to allow support for what's called the BCF API. And we don't have that yet, uh, but the, the, uh, that's exactly what it does. It allows you to connect to a cloud or a server and um, access your issues from there. So what this would allow people to do is that, let's say you're, you have some cloud platform that your BIM model is on, uh, but BIM, but Blender offers much nicer, um, uh, a much nicer environment for looking around your model and investigating things. Uh, then you would open up Blender, tell it to connect to your uh, API, and uh, view the issues. But right now, obviously, that's that's not done yet. But um, it will be. Um, yeah, but, but I guess one of the biggest improvements that, as a side effect of that, is that IFC Clash now exports to BCF. So there is a clash detection feature in uh, Blender BIM over, over here, so clash sets. So you can uh, create clash sets and you can uh, add different clash sources from uh, one or two or, or more files or within the same file or whatever configuration you want. Let me ask you something regarding this, this add clash sources. Can you, for example, uh, set their import or use their clash, clash sets from Solibri or other softwares? or you need to create them manually inside here? Well, I am not aware of a standardized way of describing clash sets. So right now you can only, just like any other application, you can define it within the application and then you can import or export, which you can see the buttons here, uh, that particular clash set within the application. But I'm not aware of, um, a standard of sharing clash sets. And that's a real shame because there really should be, that would be a simple thing to do. Um, and yeah, I guess if somebody, I, I don't, I haven't looked too much at those formats, but if somebody knows those formats a bit more and can build uh, a feature that can read them, please, please do. But I guess um, one of the, the things that we'd really like in clash set definitions is for it to be uh, tied to IFC so that you can actually use them. So for example, uh, within, let's say within Navisworks, I would assume that their clash set is system is generic. You know, it, it doesn't necessarily apply just to IFC. So queries that I could uh, describe in IFC using a query like an IFC query language, uh, which Bunderbim supports, um, cannot be shared. Um, simply because they they don't treat IFC as as something that 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 is the de facto way that BIM models or is the standard for how BIM models should be shared. Um, anyway, that that's a very long winded way of saying that if somebody knows those formats and will build a connector, please do. Um, I'm not aware of a standard, but if you are looking for one, well, why not use this one? Because this is a open standard. Uh, the the clash set definition is defined in um, just JSON, so anybody can work it out. So uh, if I go and 
press export, you can see that clash set definition clash set is just a pure JSON file, which you can see there. So it's real simple to use. Okay. Uh, but I guess what I was I was saying at the beginning is that in the past, clash set the, the the collision detection features in Blender BIM would only export out the results within Blender itself uh, in a really not very user friendly way, as well as export out to a JSON file. And that's fine if you're a really technical person and you can understand that. But it's not fine for users who want to see. Uh, who want to bring those results in BCF and maybe upload it to the cloud or or view it on a on another dedicated issue management platform. So the really exciting bit is that now uh, we can do that. So yeah, it's a step in the right direction. Yeah, amazing. Great work again.